I'm John Wise. I'm a professor of psychology at Harvard University, and I direct the Lab for Youth Mental Health. Uh, what that means is that we do research uh, and intervention for children and adolescents, particularly those who have mental health problems like anxiety or depression or conduct difficulties at home or at school. I could illustrate the work that we do by uh, describing Zach, an 11-year-old boy who's been adopted. Uh, Zach is having difficulty at school and at home. Uh, he, his classmates have learned that Zach's mother gave him up for adoption, and this causes no end of problems for Zach. They taunt him, they bully him, they tell him he's a loser, that even his mother didn't want him. And Zach is not very good at fighting back with words. He fights back with fists. He gets in trouble at school. Then he goes home and says he's worthless and doesn't deserve to live because he got in trouble at school again. And he sometimes threatens suicide. Zach has a combination of problems that's not that uncommon among children. He has serious feelings of sadness, very poor self-esteem, potentially clinical depression, but he also has serious conduct problems at school and at home. He calls his mother bad names, he disobeys his parents, and he sometimes swears. So there are interventions that have been developed to help young people like Zach, but they have limits uh, that I'll describe that we try to address in our work. There are interventions that have been tested and shown to be effective for sadness and depression. There are interventions for anxiety, there are interventions for conduct problems. Many of those involve working with teachers and with parents on helping children achieve better self-control. The problem is that most of these interventions are fairly insular. Uh, they're not designed for children who have multiple problems at the same time, like Zach. And it turns out that most of the children who have difficulty at school and at home and mental health problems have multiple problems of different types. So what our work has been designed to do is create what are called transdiagnostic interventions, interventions that cut across problems, that can deal with internalizing distress and externalizing problems, getting into fights and feeling sad, uh, because we're pulling components of interventions that have been tested for each one of those problems and assembling them into a kind of menu of options for clinicians and teachers and parents to use. Uh, our goal is to create personalized intervention, intervention that is built on the science of what works, but adapts what works for the particular child and adolescent and family that's the target of the intervention. And our work has shown thus far that depending on how you measure it, uh, this approach to treatment works much better than treating one problem at a time. Uh, in fact, by some measures, the magnitude of the impact of this treatment is about twice the impact of the individual treatments for individual disorders. Uh, so we're hopeful that by integrating the best of the evidence-based treatments for children and adolescents and families, that we'll be able to improve effects and help more children achieve better adaptation at school and at home.